Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a vintage pencil overview, uh, and this was left uh, in my Christmas stocking. And what a a joy it was to see this uh, as I dug through the pieces, lumps of coal that were in there and came across this. But I just um, uh, was so uh, pleased to see this and uh, also uh, to just look at the beautiful, absolutely beautiful box uh, of this Dixon Typhonite Eldorado pencil. And I'm going to ask some of you who are really into vintage pencil collecting to help me date this. I think this is from the 30s or 40s, but uh, perhaps later, maybe 50s, but sure looks older than that. Uh, it looks 30s or 40s to me, but um, a beautiful, absolutely beautiful box. And just look at the graphics on here. Dixon's Typhonite Eldorado, the master drawing pencil. And here, I'm not sure who this is. It looks like some sort of an explorer. Um, and a pencil coming through the top of the mountain. Um, quite, quite a sight. Made by the Joseph Dixon Crucible company in Jersey City, New Jersey, USA, made in USA. Um, and of course that was the home to Dixon and uh, no longer. However, General Pencil is still operating in Jersey City, New Jersey. On the back of the box it reveals basically an illustration of the pencil that is contained within. Uh, so you can see it is a hexagonal pencil. Uh, here it says HB, although I believe it's a different grade in the box. And um, it is without an eraser. And again, we have made by the Joseph Dixon Crucible Company. Uh, one do oh, here we go. One dozen 5H is the grade in this case. And here is the Dixon trademark. Um, so I'm going to see what we've got inside. A mark of greatness. So here you have, looks like a tornado, doesn't it? Um, and it is an overlay to the pencils. This is a full dozen, doesn't look they, as if they were ever used. They are pre-sharpened. Um, we'll take a look at the pencils itself, but there is some information on the back of this overlay here that, of course, is a grading chart. So it will show you the different grades that the Eldorado came in. Um, everything from 6B, it'll also show you the proportional core size, 6B, 5B, 4B, 3B, these having the large, the B's having a larger core HBFH, and then here they get the cores get progressively smaller as the um, core gets harder. So this is a 5H. So this is what what is in this box. Uh, and here uh, it says Dixon's Typhonite Eldorado, the master drawing pencil is made in 17 leads ranging from 6B 
to 9H. The Dixon Visegrade copyrighted system of stamping the degree of hardness three times on each pencil, once on every other panel, enables the draftsman working with several degrees of hardness to pick out the degree he wishes at a glance. I'm going to I'm going to drop this in because I didn't realize until I was putting the box away that this actually, this overlay opens up. And here we have this. And it says, greatness in a drawing pencil is measured by uniformity. Measure Dixon's Typhonite Eldorado pencils accordingly. Typhonite Eldorado uniformity stands alone of Typhonite Eldorado smoothness and strength of lead. Similarly, Typhonite Eldorado opaqueness of line guarantees clear blueprints. When testing pencils, test the leads, remembering that systems of grading drawing pencils are not all alike. In the Dixon Typhonite Eldorado series are leads for all hands and all demands of drawing. In the Typhonite process, graphite is battered against graphite in a typhoon of superheated steam. From this process emerges a new form of graphite, Typhonite, its particle of controlled smallness and evenness of size. Dixon's Typhonite Eldorado pencils have three lines of stamping. Pencil Sales Department, Joseph Dixon Crucible Company, Jersey City, New Jersey. So this is a typhoon. I thought it was a tornado. Of course, makes sense now. But anyways, I just wanted to, to share the inside of this with you. So, um, let, let us, let's take out one of these pencils uh, and see the Visegrade feature on the pencil itself. So first of all we will do a, let's take a look at it from the top down. There it is. I'm assuming this is probably a cedar wood pencil. Seems to be a very high quality, the wood. Um, the color certainly indicates cedar. And here we have Made in USA, Dixon's Eldorado, 5H. There it is again. And there it is again. So it is three times stamped on each pencil, making it an easy thing to spot. Uh, have you, if you have a variety of pencils on your <clears throat> on your board where you're working, you know what which one is what uh, without having to turn the pencil to see the grade. Very good. And of course I am curious to write with this. Uh, it's certainly a, a much harder grade than I would generally use. Uh, I tend to like a softer. But this is what it is. And um, yeah, it is definitely a hard pencil. I think we could expect a pretty good point retention here.
there was a little, certainly some scratchiness. Uh, it's not an unsmooth pencil, but boy, that that hard core of the pencil against the paper does make some noise. So, anyways, there it is. Again, not sure of the time period. If anybody has any information about that, I'd appreciate you sharing it. But this was a, uh, a wonderful gift, uh, and I'm grateful, and uh, I'm glad I had the opportunity to share this with all of you. So, uh, thank you for spending some time with me here on Always Analog. Uh, if you like what I do, please share, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon, right back here, there's everything, on Always Analog.